on with the grunt work. So we left off here, we had finished circles, now we need to do the same thing for simple lines and all of the other stuff that we have here. So let's just jump right into simple lines. Do I have? Okay, I do have that. All right, just doing a crazy check. So let's do const simple lines is a function that accepts a state object and it's a function, right? Cool. So all good there. We no longer need a constructor. We no longer need to start it with super. And we're going to modify this state object. So everywhere we see this, I could just do a search and replace, but I, I feel like it's better to do this step by step so we don't get lost. And good. So we're pretty good here. It's just going to do all of that to the state object. We don't have to change anything here. And then it's going to return our render function. And that is going to be inside of an object. It's going to return it. It's going to, if I say, if I were to use English correctly, I would have said it's going to return an object. And render is one attribute inside of that object we would like to return. So here's how we close it out. So that's the encapsulation of our render uh, key here. And it's a function, and it's going to do its duty when called upon. Let's also give this the name and give it something a little more readable. OK. Um, so with that, why don't we start testing this stuff? Just to make sure. Well, you know what? Let's save that for a video, uh, the, the next video, because the other people may not be watching this, and, and we want to do that all at the same time. So let's, or should I? We should do it now so that I know that so that we all know that we're doing it right. You should always test what you're doing. That's the best practice. Matthew. I'm talking to myself there. Unless your name is Matthew and then I'm talking to you. Okay, so we we've done this stuff. How would we actually um how would we actually create these things? Well, uh man, this really is pushing ahead a little, but why don't we just call in sketch? Why don't we get rid of all of this stuff and just say uh, circles. Is that how, is that what we're calling it? Just circles. And we'll give it a state. Well, where'd I go? Um, so remember it's a function. And when we do that, we're going to call it with us with an object that is our state. And we'll just, we'll give it this object. And so what it, what should happen is we, it's going to take in that object, which just has the test um, attribute and then it's going to add uh, sh shape size and position to it and it's going to return this stuff now it may freak out um, because it doesn't know it, we may not have all this other stuff so just to for this test to make sure that this function is working correctly that it receives an object modifies that object and returns an object we can do what we have just put here all right so this should work crossing fingers Sides is not okay. Yeah, a bunch of stuff is going to freak out. Um, so we should probably also not do this. Okay, cool. That's a little bit better. And we can console.log it. And we're getting named circles. Uh, right. So we're getting. It's only returning name circles. If we wanted to see the other stuff that came in with state, uh, we could also do this. I believe this works. Yep, there it goes. That's using the ES6 stuff. So now we passed in name. We passed in test hello world. It is creating the object um, with the properties we have told it to, and it's also properly modifying the object it was passed. So originally, it's only getting this when we pass it. It modifies it by adding this. And then finally, it's returning the object, as we have said. So this is all, it's all good. So that, that's how we're, we're going to do this in the end. We're going to call these functions. We're going to give them initial state. And then they're going to return an object. And we can inspect that object. And one of these will eventually be a render function. And we can call that render function whenever we want. Yay. So let's get rid of this. We can leave that for now. So we're headed in the right direction. Um, what will really happen is 
is that we will use this stuff, but one thing at a time. Why don't we concentrate on translating all of this stuff into functions for now that we've gotten a hang of it and we know how we're going to use it. Um, so here we can say const outline shape uh, is a function that takes in a state object. Fat arrow, it no longer needs this stuff. You should definitely try to do this on your own and, and then check your work as we move forward. Um, that's what I recommend anyway. Oh, we forgot to change all of these to state save. Let's do these at the same time. State, ooh, spell it right. That's important. Okay, so we've modified the object. And now what do we do here? We return this stuff. Okay, and render is now just a key for this value, which is a function, and it does all of this lovely, cool stuff. Great, let's clean this up just a little bit, and let's add the name attribute. Name is outline shape. Oops, okay. Do it again. Const dotted lines. Most of you are probably fast forwarding at this point. I can say whatever I want. All right, again, we change all this stuff to state because there is no more of this. Um, okay, this is all referencing what comes in. And instead of this, we're actually returning an object, which includes a render function. Um, how did that go wrong? Let's do it again. That looks better. And Oh, that's how it went wrong. And we're going to give it a name. Dotted lines. Um, this is a waste of your time. You should be able to do the rest of these. So go and do it. You can do it. And if you want, in the next video, check your work. And I'll come back, and then we'll start actually calling these functions. Um, we're going to be doing it here. We're going to be modifying this, this setup here as well as our sketch file in the next video. So go ahead and, and keep doing what we've been doing so you don't have to watch me do it. Um, and you can check your work, like I said, in the code for the in the start folder of the next video.